Hi, welcome to Shelly Studio, and this is my second video for the hashtag event, Love Autumn Art. Um, it's a video hop put on by the Creative Arts Collaboration Group. I'll have more information in the description box below. But I am also using the prompts from my Mixed Media uh, Pick 10 Facebook group, and this is week 6. I don't even know what week they're on now, probably 10, 15. Um, but the first prompt was to use gesso to cover something up, and so I decided it was going to cover my page. And then the next one was to add book text. So that is what I'm doing here. I decided, because I knew this um, hashtag event was coming up, that I would use um, do an autumn theme. And you, I don't know if you can tell, I did circle the word autumn on this dictionary page and I am attempting to draw a maple leaf. Um, I'm looking at them, I don't know why. I am maple leaf challenged today. I can't seem to get them to come out very straight. <laughs> so as you can see, that's the better one. That one right there that I just set down, that one's a tragedy. <laughs> So that one, I move over to the other side and I kind of crop off the side of it so that uh, it's not so noticeable that it's bad. But by the time I'm done, I don't know, you probably won't even see the uh, leaves. So, um, yeah, my paper was curling really bad and I put painter's tape on it, but it wouldn't stay down. And so I'm using a jar, my jar of water <laughs> to hold down my page. And we're just gonna glue these dictionary pages on, papers on. And yeah, it's um, sometime Saturday morning as I'm recording this. So if I sound a little punchy, it's because I am a little asleep. Just a little. Oops, upside down. Okay. That's the way we planned it. There we go. And I did shorten that so you didn't watch me glue them all down, but uh, I figured seeing one or two was probably enough. I am covering the rest of the page with that matte medium just so that it all has the same sort of texture. The next prompt is to use crayons. It says add something with crayons. So, well, I'm adding color. I'm going to add the autumn colors to these leaves using, these are Neo Color 2 watercolor crayons. And I've had these watercolor crayons for a really long time. I hardly ever used them until I started doing mixed media. And now I'm really glad that 10 years ago or so I invested in them because now I've got them. I'm just doing shades of green and yellows and oranges.
Are they starting to look like autumn leaves? Getting there. So I decided to set these watercolor crowns um, because who knows what's coming next. So I used the Liquitex Matte Medium and that kind of acts as water and activates them and the Matte Medium also seals it. See, it kind of blends it in there. And if I'm not careful, the whole thing would turn that red orange color. Trying to preserve my yellows, so I need to go in and do those first and then go over the other colors. Alright, so the next prompt was to tint any medium and use it through a stencil. So I pull out some texture, it's like crackling um, texture. I guess I scooped some back in because I always end up using too much. And I still had more than enough for this. So I just thought I'd put in some autumn colors. Um, it doesn't end up being a very pretty color, but it kind of works. And unless you get really close, you can't see the crackles of the medium. I have to try something using this crackle medium where it really shows the effect of that crackle medium. Alright, so once it dries, the next one was to add sequins. I don't have any sequins, so I'm using Stickles Glitter Paint. I guess it's paint. Um, and I chose brown because it kind of went with the colors I was using. But it doesn't get as sparkly as the silver and the white do. Um, so you can hardly tell. And the next step is to add paint drips. Well, it was add paint, spray with water, and let it drip. 
I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of white streakage on my paper. Um, that's because I did, I attempted this once before and I washed it all off with a baby wipe because it was a hot mess. Um, but since this video was already kind of long, I didn't leave in that part. Um, just for the sake of time. The first one I, I mixed it with the glazing medium and it didn't work very well. That time I mixed the paint with the matte medium. It worked better, but when I sprayed it with water, and I'm sorry, um, the battery died on my camera. So here I'm just putting this craft paint on straight. You see how it's not moving? <laughs> I like soak it with water. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. So then I just decide I'm going to make the drip marks with my paintbrush. There we go, drip marks. And like I said, um, you won't even notice how wonky my um, maple leaves are after this is all done. So I'm just trying to encourage those down so that they look like drips. So now that it's dry, the next prompt was to add journaling. And here it's not really fall and then kids are getting ready to go back to school. I don't know, some of them probably start in the next week or so. But I'm not ready for fall. The leaves aren't changing, they're not falling yet. They'll probably all go really, really fast. And I'll miss it. So I put fall is near, and then um, it cuts off a little, oh, I forgot, I paint over it because I didn't think it was bright enough. I just wanted the white to stand out. Yeah, my hand's not very steady. The page is actually quite bumpy with everything that's on there. Especially that M. It has a lot of texture. Okay, so the next prompt was to paint with the edge of a card to make lines. I was like, I don't really want to cover this up, but then I did these lines right down here at the bottom and I kind of liked them. So I went a little crazy and just kept going. Like I just wanted to keep adding and adding these lines. <laughs> I 
figured I could add one there and then cover up the yellow on the word with, um, whoops, with more white paint. Though you still see the yellow in the end. Now here I decided the fall didn't stand out quite enough for the sentence. So these are Molotov uh, acrylic pump markers. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They had them on sale. I can't remember if it was Shannon Green or Gina, Gina Aarons that told me. They talked about it on one of their videos. And so I ran over there and man, they were expensive, but they were um, on sale for a decent price. So I grabbed just a small package of the smaller ones in a variety so I could try them out. And I really do like how they work. Of course, you can see how unsteady my hand is, but hey. I decided I needed more journaling, and then halfway through I'm like, oh, I should be uh, videotaping this. But then I put, fall is near, it comes deceiving us with its beauty, cold winter in its wake. <laughs> and yeah, I made that up. I don't think I heard it anywhere. So prompt number nine was to add a flower. I'm going to add more than one. But I had to look up fall flowers. I wanted something that would work. Like, I'm doing fall here. All I think about are leaves and back to school. But I did find some pictures of some fall-like flowers. These are kind of the kind of flowers you'd see in bouquets around autumn time. And I'm making the um, petals in three different sizes, hopefully. Just really, the part's just really a guide, and that's going to be the center, hopefully. Once I did that, I decided I needed to color my pages, and I might as well color them before I cut them out. So these are the colors that we're going to paint them, and I'm just going to start painting the pages and do it in layers, light to dark, and try and get it in the areas that the flowers were drawn on the top sheet. And I have edited this a little bit for time. Um, I did do five sheets so that I could do five flowers. I'm just putting the red on and then sort of smushing it around with my finger. Alright, so here we have all of our painted papers. And I'm just stacking them. I'm just going to cut them all in one big group. So I didn't have you watch me cut them out, but it was pretty simple. So there's our biggest ones. There, now we have our three sizes. Though the other two sizes look really close. They're so slightly different, but not much. And we're just going to glue them together and have the petals all be loose. So 
like that. I go to use that one, I decide it's not dark enough. So then I take some brown and paint all those centers with my fingers just to make them darker. And I don't want it even, so I'm just kind of rubbing some of it off just to keep it kind of uneven. <laughs> Skip to the end. Now we're gluing that center onto our little flower. There we go. And we'll do all the rest of them the same way. Okay, now back to our page. Now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put these flowers on this page. And the page is such a crazy mess, I don't care if it covers the whole thing up. <laughs> I decided there that uh, five is probably too many. Maybe three. So this time I use just Elmer's craft glue. I kind of like the three-dimensionality that it gives my page. Um, closing the book might be a little problematic, and it may end up completely flat at some point if it's closed for a long time. Now I'm like, where's that going? Okay, there we go. Alright, and we'll save those others for another time. The last prompt was to scribble, so I decided I would give sort of light scribbly centers to these flowers and we're all done what do you think see how they stick up I kind of like that so I hope you enjoyed that video don't forget to put hashtag love autumn art into the search bar on YouTube to see all the other art works um, videos and if you did like it please hit like feel free to share comment, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.